Amazon debuted the original Echo a few years ago, and it raised eyebrows in the tech industry. The Echo is a smart home speaker that houses Amazon's Alexa Virtual Assistant, an AI helper that helps you complete daily tasks using only your voice. Since its debut, users of all levels of tech prowess have embraced Echo and Alexa, finding practicality in a voice-controlled assistant and all the things it can do. Both Alexa and the Echo have evolved since then to meet the needs of an ever-growing market. After the Echo and Alexa came Google Home with the Google Assistant, the Harman Kardon Invoke with Microsoft's Cortana, and the forthcoming HomePod with Apple's Siri. Amazon has an advantage over all these competitors because it has had the time to develop many different Echo devices and expand Alexa to be a multifaceted assistant, thanks to third-party integrations and skills. Skills is Amazon's word for apps, in this case. Plenty of smart home device manufacturers have integrated Alexa into their products, and Alexa now has more than 25,000 skills made by third-party developers. Alexa skills are features that Alexa can leverage to do more than what its built-in features allow. For example, Alexa has native features that let it tell you weather and traffic forecasts, control smart home devices, and buy things from Amazon. Using third-party skills, Alexa can play soothing sleep sounds at night, read stories to your children, tell you random food facts, and act as the host of a trivia game for you and your friends. Alexa has a plethora of features ready for you to use no matter which device acts as its home in your home. In the relatively short time since the debut of the original Echo, Amazon has made a number of other Echo devices in the hopes that any users can find one that fits the needs. With so many choices in Amazon's Echo family, deciding which is best for you can be hard. We've outlined the major differences and use cases for all Amazon Echo devices here to help you decide which to buy. Specs compared Amazon Echo products device Echo buttons Echo Connect Echo Dot Echo 2017 Amazon Tap Echo Spot Echo Plus Echo Look Echo Show Price $20 for 2 buttons $35 $50 $100 $130 $130 $150 $200 $230, $230, $230 Availability Pre-order now Available December 19, 2017 Pre-order now Available December 13, 2017 Available now available now available now pre-order now available December 19th 2017 available now available now by invite only available now Alexa integration no must connect to echo device no must connect to echo device yes 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 speaker specs no speaker no speaker 0 0.6 speaker 0 0.6 tweeter 2.5 woofer dual 1.5 drivers dual passive radiators Dolby audio 1.4 speaker 0 0.8 tweeter 2.5 Woofer 1.6 W speaker dual 2 stereo speakers screen specs no screen no screen no screen no screen no screen 2.5 no screen no screen 7 camera specs no camera no camera no camera no camera no camera low res front facing camera no camera 5 MP Intel real sense state route 300 for depth sensing 5 MP smart home control no no yes 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 also includes built in device hub yes yes free calling with Alexa no yes but through home phone service yes Yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, 3.5 millimeters audio port, no, no, yes, 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 no, yes, can be used wirelessly, yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 primary use Alexa game controllers buzzes voice controlled calling with Alexa through your home phone connection Alexa commands in any room in a tiny device that connects to Bluetooth speakers updated classic Alexa speaker portable Bluetooth speaker with Alexa built-in Alexa speaker with a small screen video chats and skills Alexa speaker with built-in smart home hub Alexa camera to take outfit photos for suggested styles Alexa speaker with a large screen video chats and skills echo buttons which cost $20 per pack of two buttons connect to an echo device and act as buzzes in voice based games Echo Buttons Amazon's Echo Buttons are the most mysterious of its devices thus far. Announced along with a slew of other Echo devices in a September event, Echo Buttons were demoed as devices that bring game night back. They act like buzzes in trivia games, allowing different players to press the top button to answer questions in various Alexar-based games. Each button has a glowing top that can shine in different colors so each player can have their own individual color in group games. While playing a game skill through Alexa, each player can press the button to answer a question and move the game forward. 
Alexa already has a bunch of game skills, but we know of three so far that will support echo buttons, beat the intro from Music Plot, Dungeon Escape, and sounds fun with mic apps from Ground Control. The catch with echo buttons is that they must be connected via Bluetooth to an existing echo device. Amazon HASNT stated which Echo devices will support the buttons, but it's likely that most full-featured Echo devices like the Echo Echo Dot and Echo Show will connect to the buttons. The buttons are also the first Alexa gadgets, or devices that are meant to connect to an Echo device you already have and let you interact with Alexa in new ways. Amazon claims the Echo buttons will be available on December 19e, but we do not know about any other forthcoming Alexa gadgets yet. Buy this if you regularly have game night with friends and family. Don't buy this if you don't already have an Echo device. The $35 Echo Connect Landline Adapter. Side view of the Connect with its ports. Echo Connect Amazon added voice calling and messaging with Alexa to Echo devices recently, and the Echo Connect brings that feature to landlines. The $35 box connects via your phone jack of OIP adapter and Wi-Fi network. After completing the setup in the Alexa mobile app, you'll be able to use your voice to ask Alexa to call anyone. Your landline number will be the one that shows up on the receiver's caller ID, so there's no confusion when you're calling another landline. However, much like the Echo buttons, you need an existing Echo device to use the Connect. The Connect box basically acts as a bridge between your phone line and Alexa, with Amazon's voice assistant living in the Echo device you already have. When you ask Alexa to call a contact, a local business, or any other number, you're asking the voice assistant in an Echo Echo Dot Echo Show, or another full-featured Echo device. The Connect ensures that those calls go through your landline rather than your mobile phone. Buy this if you want Alexa to make calls for your landline phone. Don't buy this if you don't already have an Echo device. The $50 Echo Dot in white it also comes in black. The dot is much smaller than the Echo and is built to put Alexa in any room. Echo Dot The Echo Dot has two big advantages over other fully featured Echo devices size and price. For just $50, the hockey puck size device gives you access to most of Alexa's more than 25,000 skills and all of Amazon's built-in features for its virtual assistant. The Echo Dot can read off weather forecasts, tell you about your daily schedule, provide traffic updates, control smart home devices, read the latest news, and more. The only features it ISNT compatible with are any Alexa skills that require a screen, there are some available now, but those are exclusively for the Echo Show and the forthcoming Echo Spot, the only two Amazon-made Echo devices with displays. The design of the Echo Dot is a huge plus, and not just because of its size. Measuring 1.3 times 3.3 times 3.3 inches, it looks like Amazon sliced off the top quarter of a regular Echo device and turned it into its own product. The Echo Dot has a 0.6-inch speaker inside to play music, but its compact size doesn't make it the best music maker. However, the device has an audio output for connecting to whatever other speakers and sound system you may have, and it works with Bluetooth speakers as well. That in means you can connect your favorite sound device to the Echo Dot, ask Alexa to play tunes from Spotify, iHeartRadio, or other sources, and the Echo Dot will play those tracks through your favorite speaker. The Echo Dot is the device to get if you want the voice-controlled convenience of Alexa and already have a sound system of your own in place. Buy this if you want Alexa but don't want to spend a lot of money. Don't buy this if you want a high-quality speaker. The new Amazon Echo with its updated internal and external design. All of the available veneers for the new Echo. Echo the device that started it all got an update this year with the new Amazon Echo. Not only did Amazon lower the price of the Echo to $100, but the new device has an updated speaker system, improved far-field microphones for Alexa to use to hear you, and a refined design that makes it look more like a home furnishing than a piece of technology. The new Echo sounds better than the original, but it's not our favorite smart home speaker in terms of audio quality. However, if you're upgrading from a smartphone speaker or a cheap Bluetooth device, the Echo will be a solid speaker capable of filling a few rooms with sound. The major case to be made for the Echo is that it's a decent speaker that also houses Alexa. If you purchase an Echo Dot, there's no question that you'll want to connect it to a better sound system, it's built to be more of a home for Alexa than a good speaker. 
On the other hand, the Echo is meant to provide both of those features at a relatively affordable price. If you're not a stickler for sound quality and just want a decent speaker with Alexa, the Echo is a solid device. You can connect the Echo to a larger speaker system as well, as it has the same audio output that the Echo Dot has. Buy this if you want the most Alexa features for a decent price. Don't buy this if you want access to Alexa skills that use a screen. Page 2 to the $130 Tap Portable Speaker. All available colors for the Tap Slings. Whereas every other Echo device needs a constant power source to function, the Amazon Tap is the one device that doesn't. It's a portable version of the Echo, allowing you to take Dolby quality sound with you anywhere, along with Alexa and all of its features and skills. The tap looks similar to the original Echo with its long, cylindrical design, but its surface is a bit rougher than that on the Echo. Amazon also has slings available for the tap, which are harness-like carriers that let you attach the tap to things like a backpack, bag strap, door handle, or another surface. The tap may be portable, but it's not built to be water-resistant. So keep that in mind if you take the tap to the beach. The tap charges via an included charging cradle, and it should provide up to 9 hours of playback before it needs to be recharged. When the tap is connected to a Wi-Fi network, it can perform all of Alexa's functions after you press the action button on the top of the device. You can activate hands-free mode, which turns Alexa on all the time when the tap has a Wi-Fi connection. That lets you control Alexa at any point with just your voice but hands-free mode does reduce battery life by about one hour. Wi-Fi also allows the tap to play music from streaming services like Spotify and TuneIn, but you can always hook it up to your smartphone via Bluetooth, or you can connect it to a device using its audio port. Putting Alexa in such a portable device may seem counterintuitive because the virtual assistant needs a Wi-Fi connection to be active at all. The tap may not be the best smart home speaker, but it's one of the best options for those who prioritize portability but still want built-in Alexa. Buy this if you want a portable speaker that also has Alexa built in. Don't buy this if you want to make calls using Alexa without your smartphone. The forthcoming $130 Echo Dot. The orb-like device has just three buttons near the top of its display to control volume and turn the mic camera off. Echo Spot The Echo Show was the first Amazon-made Alexa device with a display, but the company announced the forthcoming Spot as the next display hitting Alexa Home. Due out in December, the Spot is arguably the cutest Echo device, shaped like a magic 8 ball with a 2.5-inch display. The Spot has all the features that a regular Echo has, albeit its speaker size is more akin to the tap. But its display lets it do much more than a regular Echo device, namely placing video calls through Alexa. Through an Echo Spot and the Echo Show, you can video chat with anyone else who also has one of these devices or the Alexa app on the smartphone. Due to the small size of the display, your video chat view will be somewhat cramped, but it'll suffice for quick, off-the-cuff calls. The display also lets the Spot expand upon regular Echo features. You'll be able to ask Alexa to show you feeds from connected smart home cameras, viewing the live video directly through the Spot's display. Some Alexa skills have video components as well, and those will only be accessible to those with an Echo Spot or a show. Much like the contrast between the Echo Dot and regular Echo, the Spot's advantages over the show are its tiny size and lower price tag. It could easily sit on a bedside table and act as an alarm clock, or you could plop it on an office desk for close access to Alexa and all its skills. Buy this if you want access to all Alexa skills, including video-based ones in a tiny device. Don't buy this if you want a device with a large screen that you can comfortably use to watch hours upon hours of video. The $150 Echo Plus looks like the original Echo but has a smart home hub built in. All Zigbee-compatible devices can connect to the Echo Plus hub. Echo Plus The Echo Plus may look familiar because it has a design that's nearly identical to the original Echo. But the new $150 device is a bit different from the original and its no-updated counterpart. The Echo Plus standout feature is its built-in Zigbee Smart Home Hub. This technology lets the Echo Plus act as a smart home hub, removing the need for other, separate smart home hubs for various devices. 
For example, most Philips Hue light bulbs need to be connected via the Hue Hub, a small, square device that bridges the gap between the Hue mobile app and your smart lights, as well as the smart lights and your home network. Other smart home devices have their own hubs, too, which could mean you have a bunch of hubs spread throughout your home to support all the different Internet of Things IoT devices you have. The Echo Plus removes the need for multiple proprietary hubs, as long as your devices work on the Zigbee protocol. Two of the biggest IoT protocols are Zigbee and Zwave, and most devices available today work on one of them. But for now, the Echo Plus only works as a Zigbee hub. That means any devices that work exclusively on the Zwave protocol won't connect to the Echo Plus. If you already have smart home devices in place, you'll need to check which protocol they support before buying an Echo Plus. Luckily, there are thousands of devices that are Zigbee compatible, so it's likely that many or all of your existing devices will work with the Echo Plus. If you're interested in filling your home with new smart home devices, the Echo Plus will save you the extra money and space needed for multiple supportive hubs. Buy this if you are eager to build a smart home with many Zigbee compatible devices. Don't buy this if the smart home devices you ever want don't use Zigbee protocol, $200 Echo Look camera and Alexa speaker. The Echo Look takes photos and videos of your outfits, and its app suggests new styles and brands to try. Echo Look The Echo Look is arguably Amazon's most niche Echo device. The narrow, rod-like device uses LED lights, a 5MP camera, and Intel RealSense depth sensing technology to take photos and videos of your outfits when you tell Alexa to do so. Asking Alexa to take a photo or video will prompt the look to capture your full-length outfit and send it to the Echo Look mobile app. This is separate from the Alexa app that all other Echo devices use, and it holds all your outfit images and videos and analyzes them to suggest new styles and brands for you to try that you can buy through Amazon, of course. Amazon touts the Echo Looks camera setup that's built to take shareable outfit photos that have blurred backgrounds, keeping the outfit the main focus of the photos. The Echo Look gets smarter over time, learning the styles and colors you wear the most and suggesting similar items. Its app also has a feature called Style Check. Choose two outfit photos in the Echo Look app to compare, and Style Check will tell you which it recommends based on knowledge from fashion experts, what's in trend at the moment, and which pieces flatter your body the most. The Echo Look is clearly aimed toward a specific crowd, and it's an undoubtedly strategic device that Amazon hopes will bolster its fashion retail efforts. Nevertheless, the Echo Look is still an Echo device, so it can do all the basic things other Echoes can with the help of Alexa. You can ask Alexa through the Echo Look to tell you about the weather, what's on your calendar for the day, or news updates, and it can control smart home devices as well as access the more than 25,000 Alexa skills available. Buy this if you are actively on the hunt for new fashion and enjoy documenting OOTD's outfits of the day. Don't buy this if you couldn't care less about getting style suggestions from Amazon. The $230 Echo Show with 7-inch touchscreen watch video, start video chats, and see information visually using the Echo Show's display. Echo Show the most expensive Echo in the family. The Echo Show has a 7-inch, 1024 times 600 touchscreen and was the first Echo device to come out with a display. The display is the main reason to buy the Echo Show, along with its dual, 2-inch speakers with Dolby technology if you're a stickler for audio quality. The touchscreen, along with its 5MP camera, allows you to make video calls to other Alexa users, whether they have an Echo Show or an Echo Spot in the future adjust the Alexa app on the mobile device. The display's quality isnt amazing, but it'll be sufficient for handling video chats, playing videos from Amazon Prime Video and other sources, and showing random yet important daily information like weather forecasts, top news stories, calendar appointments, and more. The touch capability of the screen comes in handy as well during setup and while browsing music options. While the Echo Show doesn't have a smart home hub built in like the Echo Plus does, it still uses Alexa to control any compatible smart home devices you may have. The display can even show you live video feeds from connected security cameras, removing the necessity of visiting that device's mobile app to do so. When the original Echo was still around and priced at $180, the $50 difference between it and the Echo Show WASNT varied drastic. 
It was a relatively small price to pay for a different design that incorporates a really useful hardware feature. But now with the new $100 Echo and the $150 Echo Plus, you'll have to decide how often you'll use the touchscreen and its capabilities in order to justify the $70 to $120 price bump. By this if you video chat with friends and family a lot I prefer Alexa's visual information to its audible information. Don't buy this if you only want the basic features of Alexa and don't want to pay a premium for a display.